Throughout the 1920s, Stevens Point's two insurance companies, Hardware Dealers Mutual Fire Insurance Company and Wisconsin Hardware Limited Mutual Liability Insurance Company, saw success and quickly outgrew their offices. In 1922, what was considered one of the finest office buildings in the Midwest was built in Stevens Point. The three-story building, which served as the home office for the hardware mutual companies, was constructed in the heart of the downtown on Strong's Avenue. Stevens Point native P.J. Jacobs, who had been instrumental in bringing the companies to Stevens Point back in 1912, was also a driving force behind the new Strong's Avenue building. He was personally involved in the design of the structure, choice of the materials used, and the creation of the intricate details that adorned the building. Jacobs believed it was important for the building to project an image of strength to the community, so he chose classic columns and a stone exterior. One of the most impressive things about this first floor lobby is the beautiful marble which is imported from various parts of the world. The whole color and life of the lobby is caught and reflected in the warm living colors of the paintings. At the time, they were some of the finest examples of Renaissance-inspired paintings in the United States. The wrought iron work at the Strong's building was all designed and executed by Mr. Samuel Yellen of Philadelphia. He has completed work for the National Cathedral in Washington, D.C. and the Federal Reserve Bank, among many others. In the Strong's building, some of his work in the lobby includes the balustrade, the elevator doors, the repoussé, the information sign, and the beautifully fragile chandelier. In the former waiting room of P.J. Jacobs' office, the art glass windows are by G. Owen Bonovit of New York. The two large figures in the glass represent a sword maker and an armor maker using the tools of their trade. Because the companies were formed to give insurance service to hardware dealers, hardware trade symbols and wares are used with great meaning throughout the building, including trademarks and seals of hardware guilds of the Middle Ages found in the art glass. Anyone who was asked to wait for Mr. Jacobs had his attention drawn to the map shown on the ceiling. In addition are shown the branch offices of the company with red spots indicating department offices and blue spots representing smaller offices. The map indicates the globe poised in the heavens in which are shown the sun whose rays shine upon Stevens Point. By 1930, the hardware mutual companies as well as the Stevens Point community were growing and flourishing. The Strong's Avenue home office underwent an expansion in 1930 and the building was doubled in size. The city also continued to grow with new businesses and opportunities for its residents. 